Hey, hello, and welcome back. So, we are back to Oxen Free. Um, I did notice in my last attempt at this that OBS clearly had a glitch or whatever. I somehow blacked out, <laughs> but like the first chapter didn't work out. So, in my plan, I still <laughs> I'm kind of mass recording right now. So, what will already hopefully be posted if you're seeing this. Um, I haven't even finished editing and posting it, but the last video should be that I was going to steal a clip from the silent playthrough to fill in the clip that didn't record. <laughs> um, so just not my re reaction to me, like, playing it on camera recently, but it, I'm going to fill it with that, so hopefully that all works out. Um, but we're going to give it another go. <laughs> um, the rest of it seemed fine, so this should be fine, hopefully. <laughs> um... But if I'm a little squirrely about constantly checking to make sure that things are working out, um, that would be why. Because there's not really a way to, like, go back in this game. You kind of play through, and once you've already played through and made those choices, there isn't, like, a chapter system or something that I can go back and do it again. So, hopefully this works out this time without any glitches, all three chapters through. Um, it's interesting, I've had so many glitches on and off with this game um, that I usually don't. But it's it's also kind of funny considering this game is kind of about um, tech and glitches and glitchy sort of monsters to a degree. So <laughs> that's kind of funny. We'll try and look on the positive side of things in that regard, I guess. But here we are. We are back, and we are gonna get into Smox and Free. I believe last time we ended up with we were seeing um, the flashbacks, so the time traveling, and we're probably gonna cover a bunch of the anomalies in this game because I think. Um, there isn't too, too, too right? much to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we just come you, back, back from our first flashback with our brother Michael. For like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Where? Here? My notebook. Is he... Did, did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the <laughs> way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Hmm. Wee wee. Okay. Um, yeah. So, we had our first, um, travel back in time. Because I think it may have been an actual event that we had. Although I'm surprised she reacted as if it wasn't. I don't know. That she didn't recognize it but it is like i guess very disorienting for her to like appear on that day but she's still conscious of the future um but yeah i don't think there's too too much more to go i want to say so i don't know if we'll crank it all out in this one or the next one or whatever um but i'm gonna we'll go through this guy i believe our plan is to head to the boat first because that's kind of like the last bit of like the story through is like the boat and things like that and then I do know for certain there's a scene where they're like, you know, if you have anything left to do, do it now, basically. So I think for the sake of just making sure that we just gotta get everything done and then go exploring, um, we'll actually do that. When we get to that scene, I'll make sure that we can get the rest of um, Maggie Adler's letters, as well as all of the anomalies. And I think while after backtracking, we can also go to those... Um, signs that I kept forgetting that I could tune the radio into so we can catch air everything 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 which is what I wanted to do I wanted to do like a full 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 everything there is to see in here um and then I am pretty set that I'm going to try and do a second playthrough because it, there really is a bunch of stuff to see differently both in the game reacting differently um and also just get us getting to make different choices so I'm probably going to do that um and then you know in that way we'll focus more on like um collecting differences instead of collecting like the anomalies and things like that like i think we just bang that all out in this one and then once we're experts on everything there is we'll start only focusing on like the changes and things so that is the plan basically the plan basically um before i go too far let's talking about squirrely and checking where we're going yeah okay so let's head down to the boat oh wait are we meeting up with them first or are we heading to steal the boat and leave no no no. okay it says that they're up here which is confusing because i thought we'd be meeting them at the boat okay i think we can maybe head this way and then head all the way down wait what's the fastest way to the beach 
Oh no, because I was thinking go to the beach and then get to Maggie Adams, but I think we can go straight through here and get to Maggie Adams. Because it's the, the gated thingy over here. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah, good. there we go. You didn't die. Did you get good it? to know the bar is real high. Do you because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the, well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but... Oh yes, I and we had the radio so we could open the different and locks and, and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we There's one at Moy gate? Or Fort yeah, Milner. I think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh... Let me make sure I make terror? a note. My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win. Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Oh, no, Listen, we leave. We have the key, she possesses which is hell. apparently this radio. Then she deemed. Just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Oui, oui. So are you gonna try the game? Oh my god, or... they don't let you like start, so just wait. If I was like to go through like a million billion. Just do it. Try the radio, Alex. I'm literally doing it, guys. Relax. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. Mm-hmm. <sighs> please. See, I think boat. it's please damn boat. Please cool. Just boat. think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, because we still don't have Clarissa. I forgot there's like a whole other thing coming up, like a little, a little test almost. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. Mm, it's there you like go. the Chateau de Adler. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family, like, owned part of the island or something. Oh, okay. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Well, it's been a while, Ren, alright? I forgot. I think this is probably locked. And <laughs> Jonas is like, wait up! <laughs> oh, no, we can go right in. Okay, I think we want to do... Okay. Maybe we'll come back to that. I think we want to do this first, maybe. Drop a number. We'll follow the group. Oh. Oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's <laughs> I mean, not... I feel like that's better than with Maggie oars. stuff back at the office, like with the radio. And now we can find we a checked key. everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't... Keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's yeah. as good a guess as any. Like, that's my thing. I would assume we just need to get in the house. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. I mean, to be fair, that is a really unique I sort of lock. Locked, but... No. Well, <laughs> you do have the key right there. It's the radio. Just tune it a little. Oh my god, we'll relax. Open, like, the gate. Um, like how many people are gonna have the radio to break in, you know, so fair enough. That nice. is a nifty gizmo. Wee oui, wee, oui, yes it is. Thank you. Need out. Oh, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. <laughs> How do and you it's get talking? in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's is here, so everyone's here now. We can just. Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just. Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking, and or fighting at school. Fine. Okay, let's focus Didn't on they it. just say on Everybody like find that? something, and hope that it helps. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, okay. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, that's an attic? I thought it was like a... Oh, Jonas is glitching out, I think, eh? Because usually he's with you, I think, and he goes up, so I think he's just glitching out. 
There he is. Hmm. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Hmm. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Hmm. Probably just tidy. It's not like the Ark of the Covenants in here. Hey, you never know. She was old enough. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. <laughs> I think you're a liar, but it's good to hear for some reason anyway. Nice. <laughs> Non-stop women. Winning. Winning. Women. Winning. <laughs> Same thing, maybe. <laughs> Oh my god, Alex, please. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a, a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for her job. Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that yeah. stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I am getting a bunch of um, messages right now. There's stuff going on, so we're gonna have to return this and cut this. And what was I supposed to do? How do I make this stop? What do I do? And we are actually back. <laughs> Break it up a little longer than I expected it to be. Miss Kitty. I thought we could say a quick hello to Miss Kitty. My a best friend in this world. Hello. Hi. Since she stopped by. Hello. Yes, I love you. What do you think? What do you think of the game? You don't care? No. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for stopping by, Miss Kitty. Yeah, let's see if I can help you out. You want up or you want down? You want up? Oh gosh, there goes my thing. Okay. Miss Kitty. Okay, she's gonna chill, I think. Yes? We're good? Okay. Nice little hello from Miss Kitty. A little cameo. Uh, okay. We're sticking around. We're comfy up there. I never understand how they can enjoy being on a ledge. Like, I would find that so freaky. Like, I certainly wouldn't fall asleep on it, but she hangs off the banisters, too. It's just, like, straight up comfy. Like, listen, you little weirdo. Okay. <laughs> that is the reason that like her, uh, my top of my chair has all these little holes in it. It's just her. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Oh God, ew. More dynamics. What in the world? Religion. Sheesh. Okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating <laughs> insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? Oh. I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Okay. What are we? Okay. <sighs> what am it's I missing? Been disconnected. From? Bummer. So I know there's something extra to do. Maybe it's the basement. Am I supposed to go check out the basement? Let's go see. Uh, Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember Ooh, that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than. Oh, Hello. Um, Chad. Hey. It's impossible. Well, that's what I mean. It hasn't been opened. Is it possible? Like, you did the count on the, on the actual screen. It's okay. It's all good. Bother me if you need to. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. Work shall continue until the store is officially closed. Like okay. House. Yeah. Yeah. That guy was a freaking weirdo. Uh, yeah. Wait, who was weirdo? What did I miss? Sure, Miss Kitty isn't on a rush to get out. Hey, Nona. Hey. She's attacking the cat tree. How's it going? Uh, steady as she goes. Am I missing something? Are we supposed to- maybe we're supposed to go to the basement first? Marissa, your highness. Oh. Look, I think, like, don't take this the bad way, but you need help. Oh, do I? What kind of help, may I ask? Like, uh, the kind that takes a bat to the head. Exorcism! A priest, I think. 
You may be polluted. Isn't polluted usually after <laughs> you are really taking all of this much too seriously, but I appreciate the concern. Your soul is polluted, Clarissa. And that was even before the demons got there. Here's Ren. Okay, yeah, so I think maybe I was Find supposed to do this. Anything useful? Okay, Not good. Well, yet. things line up. But you know, the night is young. How's the, um, Nona stuff going? What do you care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did that I Jonas is right there. <laughs> bad? I just don't get it. Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought you needed a breather. I mean, seriously, an hour earlier, you were, like, possessed and freaking out. Okay, that is true, I guess, but still, it was... Annoying. Okay, well, There's you were also in there. taking just looks like vacation brownie, or edible yeah. brownies, Ren. So maybe chill. Huh, Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the. There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. Uh -oh. 1854. Nice. Uh, cool. Did I miss the chance to go over here? No, I didn't. She made a lot of what should I call these slides? They're not no, videos. No, no, just call them reels. Um, silent memories. Oh. Okay, so maybe uh, we go to the chest actually. So let's do that. Okay, I think the cat wants out. Wait, run herself over there while I go. Are you, um, doing okay? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Okay, cool. You doing okay? Everything good? Wee wee! Tissa! Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> Need a pillow like a booster seat. <laughs> okay. Little wind chimes. I love wind chimes. Okay, so let's head up to the chest. Oh, I feel like there's hair in my nose or something. Probably from the cat. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot nice. of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here tune into the source? I think that means she what couldn't have talking about to? the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out that there were yeah, ghosts she was here putting them and the holding potential them for bay, them right? to be running amok. I guess that's a what possibility. What the hell is Ren doing over here? He's like taking a knee over here. <laughs> Jonas is so far behind, so I guess we're supposed to be talking to him. <laughs> is this? Ah, the boat keys. Got him. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Whatever. Okay, cool. Let's conga line down and head out. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna get stopped. But whatever. Yeah, there we go. I'm waiting on this. So creepy, man. So creepy. We have something we want to show you. Oh my god. You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. Just come down. Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Go check all our friends. Do all the things. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. She's just straight out. She's like, oh. <laughs> and then if you get this slump in a chair, she's down on the ground, like, nope. <laughs> Come on, Jonas. I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Yeah. I think we get to have another interaction with the mirror, too. Ah, ah Jesus Christ. <laughs> now we imagine you're a bit confused. 
Get. <laughs> I don't know if we're completely confused. We have been claiming to progress this whole time. Training. I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for, this, Alexandra? Whoa! What about the whole name? You know it's serious. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I don't think I said that they would be able to get out. Is leave possible? Ooh. Um, uh, maybe? But do you but want them to get out? I, I, I didn't even know what the hell you were talking about. Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will be fine. fine. The test is easy. We will speak of something Holy soon. fuck. Oh. So you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as you might be. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. <laughs> Just what is the point? They're so freaking creepy. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out. But you can see all of them lined up, like all the people who are gone. Please. By with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. Oh, that's so, TV over here. Is it? Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and the next rays. Jesus. But right now, it's not good for radiation and other suns. I mean, I mean, it must. That must be like very, very small amounts then. I mean, Otherwise, here, people would be getting I sick buy. left, right, and center, right? Oh, I hate. Okay. The upside down is some bullshit, man. Six. The little Celtic Seven. knot I'm thinking over here? It looks Four. like. Oh my gosh, she's taking Three. so long. Uh, is it the, this painting? Alex, you need it to move faster. Like I really thought we were gonna freaking lose so that because she was taking so long. Oh, Jesus. Stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye. The pictures of memory. It's like a ton of pictures of it. Jesus. The picture of, of. I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is oh, yeah, she lost like a friend or yes. something. That's very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard challenge are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. Jeez. In the process, we discovered a way for us to return. I wonder if Maggie, like, did her friend get time. possessed and stay that way? No kind of like what's happening with Clarissa, or no? Or she just Wait, passed what? away? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what What happens to them after you're absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess. So they want to kind of like hive mind into, into them. Too quickly with Anna, so then it's like you're possessed. And then I guess the the main conscious of in the body, like the owner of the body, just kind of falls to the background. So they don't all even get to have like their own freedom. There has to be another way. I mean, because they're still all clustered together in one place. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like. But how what you're doing is wrong, and you know that. Any integrity we once had drowned in the reef ages ago. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. That sucks. Hello. No worries. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get home safe. She hung up on me. She hung up on me. Uh, I'm gonna delete this business. Okay. <laughs> This episode will be a game of trial and error, both in fantasy world and real world. <laughs> I feel like I'm- did I miss- oh no, I think it was the go downstairs button. Okay! Right, we need to change this.
do, do, do. So we got that one. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, yeah. So I'll... this is what I was talking about. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. <sighs> okay, seriously, who are you? I don't even you? remember this person. I wonder if it. So that's kind of what I was trying to explain the last time in the clip that <laughs> didn't make it. Is that basically, um, you know, other people who own the game. I believed it was like people just in your friends list, but. If they own the game and they played the game, uh, the first way through, the game will basically pull other people's um, choices like and put them here for you. And then you can kind of go based on that, assuming that maybe they played the game through and they're giving you the right answer or they're just guessing. You don't really know. And then once you go all the way through, you then get to go back after your experience and leave those kind of answers or yeah answers for the next person who plays and then it, the game seems to just kind of randomly pick whoever it is on your your steam list or whatever that also has the game who's also played it who's also picked answers and gives them to you in the middle of the game like it, it's really really neat and you get to see their gamer tag and everything i think it's so awesome um i wonder though if there isn't a lot of people on your list that have the game because i don't have like a ton of people on my steam list really um like and i'm pretty sure that people that are pretty prominent on it like my brother definitely doesn't have this so <laughs> i wonder if maybe it just pulls from anybody after that point like it pulls some online um choices if you don't have other people or if like you run out of people who own the game who've played it so, but who knows and then you get to kind of add your choices later which is kind of cool so we'll head up and do this guy Hey, so here we go. I think I have all of them, no? Maybe there's one upstairs? No? Okay. Downstairs, maybe? We've got these two rooms. We've got this guy. I don't see one over here. Let's try going to the door, because the door started this in the first place, so maybe it'll put it back. Nope, it's still not Oh, did this one not get done properly? I don't know. I was wondering why it wasn't lit up as much. So we can go on. <laughs> I oh, think shoot. I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually, there's a lot more talking horses. Hmm. We're in like trouble. Yeah. Good God. Well, I mean. We're in trouble, only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred-year-old submarine crew. Okay. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... <laughs> what a I sentence. Mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? No, 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 no. I think we leave her behind. Okay. A ghost is a monster. No, completely, that's oh, yeah, the plan. We'll of get... course it is. Clarissa is not going to be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Even that's though she's kind of been evil herself this well, entire time, but it's fine. The cave, Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s, and Maggie I think has that's what we need those reels for now. In her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Couldn't common sense that one out. Okay, so I believe here is where we get to watch the reels now. Because we want to. That film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January '52. Mm. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure it's sweet. They're learning. Boo! S okay, right, we get it. <laughs> okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get yeah, it? Yeah, why not? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh. What? She knew about these things? Well, yeah, wow, I would assume at this crazy. point 
It says that they literally finish, said that she was what was keeping them all that's a mouthful. apart before. In the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but so we're basically not doing trans that, right? like Good teleport question. through them. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did. This would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or, or we're boned. Or we're boned, precisely. Nice. Oh, sorry. This is like this looks like the end, but from the from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it like sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response oh. thing. Brilliant. Really? It's good enough for me. <laughs> that again. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just, I mean, oh, can let's... we just like think this plan through for like one minute before running off half cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need like access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to like the military radios and well, we stole them. So yeah, fair well, enough. The system works. All right, peace. Okay, so oh, we do actually have to do another mission here. Okay. Part of me thought we were just gonna head over to basically. Oh, I just little arrows directing. It was kind of. Nice. Well, I kind of thought that we basically just were gonna head to the shelter and then head in, but I guess not. Okay. That's fine. Good lord, we have to go far. Okay. Let's do... So, yeah. Use the response station and open the bomb shelter. Okay, so I think we'll do that next. Um, and then after that, we'll see if it lets me do, like, a runaround of the anomalies and stuff. But, like, to be fair, we also have to travel back. So I can probably snag any stuff that I missed along the way, maybe. Um, and then we can see if there's anything else we need to pick up. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so that maybe changes the plan a little bit. But that's okay. So, I think for now, that's the first part. Um, this is kind of the first part. That was the whole chaos of Maggie Adler's place. And then now, next, we shall go on ahead and do the response station and see what we can pick up along the way. Okay, and we're back. Drama aside. <laughs> uh, okay, use response. Oh, yes, so we are back and we are heading to the shelter. All right. I wonder Great. if there's some and if anything goes wrong, do. please don't tell me. I won't want to know. <laughs> uh, we won't. We not have cell phones. Like, shouldn't we be able to like call each other? I feel like we could have caught each other up on a whole lot before now. Although I guess in their defense I didn't even think of a cell phone until now. <laughs> what a world. Given our generation, I'm terribly surprised it didn't occur to me. <laughs> okay, so they're going their own way. Jonas and I... Wait, 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 wait. What does this go down to? Go to the beach? Oh, that goes to the beach. Okay. <laughs> Did we... I don't think there's anything to find at the beach, but just in case, listen to her cryptic stuff. Does she see? Uh, what time? What? When did she say her radio it tunes into what? Uh, didn't I make a note? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's on the map. I'm stupid. One hundred and forty. Uh. Oh, so not one to hear here? 40... yeah, 0.1. Like... How am I supposed to find all the letters if you want to tell? Let's head down to the beach just in case, I guess. Fuck it. And we'll see. How many letters are there? Doing that. Okay. Let's see.
Um... From top to bottom, ah. under Cena, Tango, Alpha, India, Romeo, Cena. Under stairs. Okay. I thought it might be somewhere here. Okay, so we'll head on down. Let's see if we can get that last letter. Boop, 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 boop. Come on. <laughs> Good lord, psych. Talk about a workout. Ah, here we go. Maggie says she hopes the notes are found by the correct person. Well, I guess that'll have to be us. <laughs> I hope so. Let's see that I turned off my alarm here. Nope. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. Okay. Whoever is finding these notes, understand my hope is that by enshrouding this intelligence in such an obtuse manner, its detection will discourage most innocent seekers. Thereby allowing it to befall the correct person, and not the easily distracted military mind, nor the typically bewildered executionist. Do not blame the submarine's crew. I don't believe its passengers, like Henry, Henry Griffin, can even understand what has truly happened to them. And you do not have to give forgive me for my myriad failures, but please remember the name Anna Shia. Know that she did not deserve her fate. Mm -hmm that for this person. I wonder uh, if they explain a bit more what happened to her. It's a nice little drawing. Okay, so we have found all the letters. Huh. Guess we're not going in there again. Oh, is it cave? Whatever happened must have caved in the opening. <laughs> is the cave caved in? Okay. Anything else to find here? I don't think so. We have circled back to where it all began. Okay. There isn't any signs or anything, no other anomalies aside from the ones we already picked up. So, that finishes that. What will be faster? I... Th mm, it might be... You know what? Let's go... Because uh, I don't know if we can ever go like these. Right, let's just... Let's just loop back around because I'm pretty sure of the way to get back if we loop back around. Up we go. Uh, it's gonna be a bit longer than a usual fast track. Do do do. We got a bit of a walk ahead of us. I don't know if we're missing too much. Hold on. And now we're still at eight. Okay. And then for the letters. Oh, we've actually got three. Wait, what? I know that one. Uh, relatively few of existence. Friendly fire. Did we read this one already? Because I remember we found the friendly fire one. We found this one. Oh, I think it's Jonas who read this one. That's why. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. We got like ten to find. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Let's head out. We're missing four, four anomalies and letters. Well, just basically, the anomalies we've been picking up as we go, we just found out about the letters. So I'm thinking we just need to whip out the radio for where we go. Um, and it'll let us know if there's a, a letter in the area. Because like, at the beach, we kind of just whip the radio out as soon as we got there and it, it started telling us where we need to go. So there's probably a letter in like every section or something. We just need to remember to whip the radio out. I made myself a note of what I was looking for, right? Now these letters are made, yeah. Okay. Does it show anything here? <laughs> Turn on the Lima uh. India Golf Hotel Tango for the ships coming home. Light. Turn on the light where? Oh shit. Oh no. Hello? 
Oh shit. Alex. Where did where is Alex, he though? Okay. Are you are you back to normal? I just oh, thought, that's right. Because I mean, remember later on we see it, it again. I okay. Whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that. I wonder why they do that because I don't I just think anything when it ends up finishing okay, off the Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. So it's interesting because it, it kind of like it's I like it happens did? to us a little bit. Stop walking. So we can kind of maybe see what they lit up like maybe are seeing. Flares. It only lasts like a minute. Even though they're not really telling us. We should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider than. But. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it. <laughs> he's so I'm concerned about her being him. possessed too Maybe many times. Meanwhile, he's possessed sick all sure the time. he's fine. So let's finish what we started. I don't know when we can go back. We go back where he's not there anymore. So light where? Does she mean the lighthouse? Is the lighthouse within Epiphany Fields? Did we get this letter already? Uh, uh. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There's a similar statue, a uh, statue of a soldier in Maine, where I grew up. My memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's pr protestation. Protestations. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made, after the daughter of Kanaloa crewman Francis Salter asked. I don't know why. A maker, maybe. For the hope- a marker, maybe, for the hope I once had to help people. There's nothing to do with, like, the, what the statue represents, not so much the statue itself. Have we gotten this guy already? I don't think so. Maybe some of the anomalies we couldn't get before because we needed the bigger the bigger raider. How how many of you are there? How how many of you are there? Is that it? Okay. Still creepy in its effect, I'll give it that. Okay, so now we have nine. Oh yeah, so we only need three more. So yeah, we'll just keep an eye out in every section we go, because we basically have to loop the whole damn map over again anyway, before we even get to the bunker. So like, I guess I appreciate that there's that scene where it's like, do what you need to do now, but with the amount that it kind of makes you loop around. Especially right near the end. You, you shouldn't really need to if you've got your eye open and know that you need to look for stuff. Which I guess works. It still gives you a mission, like a guide of where to go. Um, and like some extra content, but... You can also grab everything on the way. Milner's Post. Arden Tower. I don't know... I got the thing. I think... We did come here already. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. Yeah, right? They're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay. I guess they're fine. For them. What? <laughs> okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. Jonas. Right. See you after, at the bomb shelter. You mean like where we are right now? Right Fallout here. Shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above-ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. Okay. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. 
This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, yeah. molded with layers of bored concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the cold and response system. All right, fair enough. Okay, I think we've got that one. I guess we'll just go around. I think uh, we're doing kind of a recap of everything anyway, so even if I'm a little forgetful of certain places we went before, now we should see everything again, and then I should have a better idea of if we're still missing some, where I maybe haven't been yet. Ta -da. Goodness gracious. Look at that little in the background. It's so cool looking. So, because that way is near, is to Fort Milner, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we need to go all the way up. I hit it that way. Little fireflies look really nice. Don't think we've got anything that way. I don't think the radio in we need, so we're gonna head straight over. Tally Grove, yeah. I open the map here. Forky! And up for the long haul. You know what time it is? Four! It's four in the morning. Doesn't your Which phone say? So you do have phones. If they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? Ew. What's your vote bed. usually in uh, that situation? It's usually four in the morning? At 11 with my hand half dunked in the chip bowl. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Yes, we're going the right way. Like, really? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, undoubtedly, without doubt. This is so absolutely, cold. It's, it's gonna work. Way too hot. Well, I'm glad you're confident, cause I just have this feeling like these ghosts aren't really concerned. I just feel like they're they seem to be confident. invading us all the time. Like they know by sunrise. Yeah, there was coverage too. Oh my god. School supplies. Jonas, don't worry about that. We don't know what they're thinking apart from the "I want to live in you" thing. I'll try not to worry. Ewie. Usually it's like way too hot in here. Well, I wonder, basically, for some reason it's randomly cold. But that's okay. Modern technology brings us heating pads. Um. Alrighty. This furniture is new. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it is. All this furniture. That's pretty neat. I think Weird this chair. Um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time. Yeah, see, that's what I was something. wondering um, when we this found the ch so um, that chair the first um, time. Yeah, it's not when we exactly were first turning on that. Um, I think we're running out of runway here. Radio or that track thingy, whatever it's called. Um, that freight thingy here. When we first turned it on and we had that random chair that appeared, I was thinking that it was coming from. Or maybe being pulled through time, like all these little time rifts that were happening, or like dimensions, since we were being teleported around. Maybe the furniture was as well. Oh, I can't interact with that one. Okay. Free furniture. Is that the way I want to be going? Yes. Oops. I don't know, you probably can't see it actually, it just occurred to me because I'm pretty sure my face, yeah, is right in front of it, but right under me is actually, oh yeah, I can move it, there we go. Right under me is the pause button and I keep clicking it by accident when I go to like direct her, like point and click her where to go. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so that's why we keep pausing. Sorry. <laughs> okay, is this where I need to go? Oh, oh, oh! I'm done. Uh, hold on. Am I missing a letter here? Fallen. Ah. Tango. Romeo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's gonna make me go through these. Fallen. Tango. Romeo. Echo. Oh, tree. A fallen tree. Now called something else. Now called something else. Oh, uh, uh, a log. Right? A log? A log? The closest thing to like a fallen tree would be like that's called something else would be a log, right? Is this is this the spot where they have the clearing with the log? 
Because I was thinking that there's got to be something to do with that log. Oh no, I think we got that. Because I felt like there was something with it, but I couldn't remember what. I also, I think we, I feel like we got this anomaly. Because I feel like I saw it before when we first came through here. And then I was like, how am I supposed to get up there? Um, it's hard to tell because I thought usually the ones that you get have that like red on it already. Fallen. But maybe not. Let's see. It's fine. We're here already. So we might as well double check and then we'll head down. And we can do that radio thing down there too. Yeah, we did. Okay, okay, okay. We got that one. Okay, that's fine. Hello? So, we can do the radio thing down there, because I'm pretty sure I didn't do it on that sign down there. And then we can... I'm pretty sure the log is over there. And that's what it's called. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah, over here. It's gotta be this. And then we can go over that way to the sign. Here we go! Jonas always gets glitched out stuff over there. I guess over Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. After the fort closed, I used the considerable resources from my father's en endowment to buy the most of the land or influence government officials to declare that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful uh, and have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precautiously sprung upon this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater to inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and caves will be boarded up. So she knew for a while that this little island here was cursed, and she was trying to stop people from coming to it, but they, they clearly made that little town down there. Uh, with hardly even a town. Um, but it's interesting, though, because... So some people are, are showing up here, and clearly it's, like, got touristry and whatnot. And yet, it's just us that are experiencing this again? Maybe it's because it, we were a small group when we came later? the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. Ah, the roosting sense, tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when That's Franciscan right. friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently... Huh. Interesting. It's so cool, again, that they have just, like... You can just tune into the radio station, and depending where you are, it'll talk about the area. Um, and that you can look at things like this big tree right here and get a history on it while you're standing in front of it. Ooh, look at your radio. Uh, okay. So, that covers that. Nine anomalies. It's not, it doesn't have like a count for the letters on it. Okay. It's just crossing out all the stuff as we go. Okay, so that finishes that. Uh, kind of decent. We have some letters really quick, too. I think that, like there's probably one in each section. So, as we go, we can get them all. Um, yeah. But then, okay, so then let's carry on forward. Um, because we're gonna need to get over to... Which standing over there, yeah. How many am I at? Yes. Uh, we're getting there. 
Head on down. Hey Jonas. Just chilling. Need a break. Your knees are sore. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. Okay, we're heading the right I way. hope this works. Me too. Glad you could join us again. Uh oh, hold on. Excuse me, Alex. Could you come down from there? Uh 140. At least it spins fast. People lose their names and give them to Golf, Romeo, Alpha. Victor. Echo, oh, Grace. Cena. What a freaking sentence. People lose their names and give them to Graves. A type. So. Yeah, okay. I think we're on track. So, where was the Graves again? I think it might be over here. Pretty sure we used this guy already. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Little star number S139. My belief bolstered by Anna's and my research conducted largely at the Catbird Station. Ooh. Where interruptions were rare is that the men and women of the USS Kanaloa were separated from their dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign, and his confused diction and reliance on the game logic says to me that their emotional state, if not mental state, has been reduced to that of children, a thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. I wonder if, too, because there is a way to, like, I have a number of pieces now that there is a way to like try and talk down the ghosts later and whatnot, and I wonder if like part of it is you if you like your motivation slash reward to actually going through the game and finding all this stuff is having this information so that you can talk to the ghosts about their their history and whatnot. Whereas if you don't bother to do all this research, um, you don't the character doesn't have the information. Pretty sure we did this one. It's hard because it doesn't say, like, the anomalies you've already done. Like, it doesn't show them to you. Um, so... You don't really know, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure we've done this one. I'd be surprised if we didn't, but still. Why would it work? I mean, we've already done this one, and so- but, like, we'd already done the other one, too, and it worked. Huh. I'm glitching out a little bit. It's happening, bud. There. I'm pretty sure we've done that one already. Um. Hopefully it's fine, because it doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, the game's been very glitchy. Uh, I think we've checked everything out around here, so... I'm trying to think where the hell the other anomaly would be then. Because we're... yeah. We're still missing, like, three. Uh, do I have to turn this back on? Is that what's happening? Can I not use that anymore? Mm. Oh, I'm where I need to be, so they're like, hey, peace out, don't leave. But actually, don't leave. <laughs> peace out, but actually, don't leave. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. Mm. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop-de-loo. 
always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Must be so weird to be him and like you don't know what's going on. But she's telling you that it's happening. Oh, ew. Oh. Ren. <laughs> no, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's he had an accident. He he died. <laughs> I couldn't. He's just floating in midair. Oh my god, Ren. I, I can't believe this. What happened? He he drowned. Why is his body just in different weird he places? He took a fall. <laughs> the fall is not that I don't far know. Away. He just he just stopped. Ugh, so fucking creepy. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. Fix Ren, whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to. But the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. It never does. Bargain, oh. Really. And you should take um, a proposition? Like what? <laughs> it sounds like we've done this a lot before. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you. No, 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 we're no saving way. Everyone. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting. Like out I was saying, though, how they. <laughs> Courage possession goes towards um, the, way, the most negative person more easily, so they you they pick for us. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Because you're an asshole and you're trying to make it so. Mm -hmm. I don't care. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Jesus, so creepy. Okay, um, so, oh yeah, here we go, it's over here. So we need to go up and get this radio thing over here. Is there more? Oh yeah, there's a few. Hello! I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just... It's okay, Nona, you... You didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear mm -hmm. you say anything about him, so... If he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. Mm. And I don't know if he did. He hopes he did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. Alright, let's fix this. Okay. That one's set. This one... Because I know Ren is not entirely gone. Um, not in the way that Clarissa is. And even Clarissa isn't entirely gone, depending on how you play your cards. The oh, station's yeah. up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. You were possessed. And for the longest time, I think that we've, um, seen so far. Yeah, mm. I know. I can... Kind of I feel like it's the point. longest so far. I feel like uh, this should mean him specifically because I feel like there? Ren and Clarissa have both been possessed for a while. Oh, it's really just Nona, somehow, not who hasn't been as I guess much. Somehow broadcasting or but I almost feel like that makes the, sense because uh, I feel like Nona's speakers. the least negative of the group. Are you guys at the station? Oh, that's all I care about. Hey, anybody. 
God. Jonas? Yeah. No, that's a that's Jonas, a bonus too. Punch Alex if you can hear this. <laughs> you think he'd say the other thing away? Seriously, right in the throat. Other way around. Jonas, don't listen. I know who I am. We're all set here for the uh the thing? The machinery speaking hub? Yeah, 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 is. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Which one are you at? Like, they're already at the bunker when we went over, but they're supposed to be elsewhere, aren't they? No, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We have to deal with stuff. What stuff? How do you know you're- Yeah, so maybe the ones that have already happened, it- It doesn't? No, it was this. It was psychotic. But the ones that I haven't done yet, then it, it says something. Because it seems like this, it, it'll light up, but it doesn't have to- it doesn't put you through the message again? It's like, what if I did? I'm so confused. I keep forgetting this thing is that. Okay, I just have to tune it. Good lord, they talk a lot. It was like... it was hot. Believe me. No, it Yeah, it was. No, it- uh, this was fine. She is fine. We're here. We made it. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. <laughs> they've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just I need any and all advice you give me. <laughs> well, first... Can everyone just shut up? <laughs> Joe, play dress up phone time when you get home. Alright, Mr. No Fun. No Fun? What is that? Swedish? <laughs> hey, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. <laughs> it's one of the first nice interactions. Right. Signal it's just funny verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. Nice. I guess it worked. Right. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See Shut up, Jonas. Shelter. We're just awesome. Close the time hold. Save the day. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we're missing anomalies. So, you know what? Mm, okay. We can still head over to Fort Milner. Did we cover this already? Oh, oh yeah. This one is just going to always be the 102. The Catbird Station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system ah. used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. Nice. The Catbird station was built to... Okay. Okay. Mm. Oops. Sorry, Alex. So, yeah, let's head over to Fort Milner. Because there's another radio lock there. Oh, you know what? I think there's another video lock up the way. I don't know if we got that. Okay, so we have some places we can go because we're still missing letters and we're still missing, um, yeah. we're still missing anomalies too. But I don't. Those little rooms though that have the radio locks. I don't know if that matters. Or not. But we can check it out. Partly on our way. Close enough. Come along, Alex. I'm trying to think, where the hell are all the anomalies? Am I missing? What am I missing? I'm just gonna wonder if it's gonna be a mission and a half trying to find what I'm missing. Uh, I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Oh, we have him reborn. Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, Whoa. I really hate that. It's like they just tried but to I'm, do like a stop in, think, but that's it. Um What is it? Like what is it? Haven't we kind of like done like it though? When that ourselves? Is you forget stuff really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs oh. into not remembering how to walk or talk and 
then you pass out. Well, that is quite weird. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... This isn't it's like... okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever. Senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there. Even though it's I brought open, you to we'll a demon glad. island. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. It's just so weird because it looks like it's up, but we're actually going down. Yeah, we need to. We, either way, we need to head over to the Epiphany Fields. So that's fine. Uh, let's see what's up with that. So we'll see about Fort Milner, probably. And then I might cut there at the end. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But, you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't... You can't mm, call go. it a concert. It was like an all-day, all-night, like, festival with tents oh, maybe and, like, a hundred bands. I don't care if it had a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go, and I know you say you didn't know that, which, whatever, but you still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. <sighs> Just mm. tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. <laughs> However inadvertently, a little It'll heart be can handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really Ominous. care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that Jeez. sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. Yeah, so it's I like, know why we are going back in time, and I yet mean, big we're also changing eh, the past a in a way. I'm just letting you know, so, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why, I just wanted to tell you. So come weird. on, let's get to the century before the Maybe last it doesn't comes. matter. I gotta get the like uh, in a visual aid for the history project. Like vision all like then time always has branches. Ugh, you know, and this is just like another branch. But it's not a final coasting? end, so it doesn't hey, matter. I am coasting. This just happened to be slightly fun. This is it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kinda I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. This is also <laughs> You won't be, but in the wrong way. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen strands us here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. <laughs> he said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him... <laughs> Kind of almost touching. Huh. That's actually... That's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> oh, sad that he's uh, just gone and she's kind of going through these memories. But yeah, it's almost like there are a bunch of branches and if in the end... We don't fully solve everything, or like things repeat themselves, or things like Alex? that. Stop it! Just stop. it wouldn't matter. It would just be like a <sighs> branch, a possibility you that got, you can you know, see you and live through, again. like an I mean, ending you can technically get, but it doesn't mean really, it's a purpose, like a proper now. ending. I saw permanently. I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked. 
moved into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Uh, okay, so you know what? We can go down to Ren and Nona just to do that. Then we'll go find the last anonymy. Uh, not. Uh, just don't say there. anything to them, okay? Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I. We're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? <laughs> I asked, right? You asked. Uh. Yes. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Nice. Mm. Romantic. Romantic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. <laughs> Aw, how cute. The Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Oh Please my god. Please tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Yeah, I think whatever. that's awesome. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Well, I'm taking yeah, because I believe for leaving him behind with Nona helps something. create this. Well, you shouldn't, but whatever. I, I want to get this off my chest. Just something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghost or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just. Well, I tried. I mean, I don't know what else I could have done, man. This night has been awful, nonstop. It was a lot to juggle. I know. I don't. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. I'm sorry. Yeah, it feels this like Ren is, is kind of annoying. Can we like take a picture? Why? I don't know what kind of friend we were. In case things go but bad. But he's very and... like almost clingy, yeah, and then he's it. upset because beach, we're all kind of, stressed out. And I'm. Up normal here. I mean, was kind of teleported against our will right, to begin with, it. with Jonas Alex, in the first in place, here. and now all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, you're you're a pain in the ass." It's like can you're you not chill. Like, if anything, Rand, a lot Once of this is there, because of you, and you got into so freaking drugs, so... so make sure you're <laughs> ready still, to finish this pop, before we still. go inside. Clearly he was out of it. Yeah, there we go. Make sure you're ready to finish it before you head inside. Okay. So, does Jonas... Come with us. If we leave? Oh, do we have to finish this out on our own? Okay, well, hopefully it lets me go to Fort Milner, because... I still have some adventuring to do. I think he does. I think he appears with us if we go off on our own. I don't think we're allowed to just go on our own. Oh, look at them. It's cute. They're on the floor down, though. This would be crazy, like, found footage type shit. Yeah, there he is. Oops. Hello. Services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Huh. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. Hmm. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking so using an like early form of computer school, technology. The school was moved to Fort to Baxter in Southern California it, when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fair. Fort Milner was the... How are we doing? We're still good? Okay. It's gonna be a bit of a longer episode, but we're going towards the end. I don't know if I'm gonna end up cutting this into three chapters and make the last one just a video of the end, but it feels like it's not gonna be long enough at the end. It's better to go with the long one here. I wonder, like, I know the letter's over there, but I'm curious what her riddle is for it. Under the ladder, below the tango, Oscar, whiskey, echo, Romeo. Ah. Where is the book?
Hmm. The communication school here taught them how to make codes. Yeah, we just heard that. Recruits learned communications technology here. And several others learned code breaking. It's true. But due to my aptitude in math and mechanical engineering, I was assigned code making. Specifically, ciphers with which to conceal projects from even other government agencies. It was a job I grew increasingly uncomfortable with, but my keen interest in radial science had me pulling double duty as a comms officer. I remember one of Kanoa's, Kanaloa's engineers, Francis, calling me a radio woman. As far as he knew, it was my only job. Well, he should have asked. <laughs> uh, okay. Up we go. So... <laughs> Damn, I'm missing so many letters. Ugh. I almost need like a, a road map here. Go to facility. I'm trying to think where we already have been. Okay, I know. There's a radio lock down here. Oh, okay. mm. oh here we go. Oh, is that an anomaly? Yes, it is. There it is. Ah! It brings up a little thing when you find it. Cool. Something keeps touching my leg in the water, and I don't know what it is. Can we just go into the cave now? No, sure, sure. I, I just want you to have a good time. Wait, this. I think there's something down there. Wait, Jason, there's... Don't trip, there's a... Jason? Ah, look at floating. Okay, ten, so we're missing two. Two anomalies. Is there a letter in here? Does this count as another place or no? Time for... Oh! Fina. S -O Echo. E Echo. Papa. In the middle of things. Okay, so there is some in here, too. So they're in the different places. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, it says that the the base first found the ghost's messages here. The first remissions from the lost soldiers were recorded here by a single officer training new recruits. I heard about it sooner, soon after. Yes, word of a childlike, almost playful messages spread quickly, but the broadcasts were usually dismissed as an ongoing prank. Faulty equipment or AM stations bouncing off the midland. However, after I successfully decoded one as a mayday from Calvin Gilbert, an electrician who perished on the USS Kanaloa, I knew it had to be something more. Hey, oh, let's go. We got another letter. Okay, so where the hell? Maybe that other house? Like, I keep looking at the boy past it when we were having the recollection with Michael. Right? Didn't look like it had a radio lock, but I do feel like on your way to town, there seemed to be another little shack or something that I think did have a radio lock. So, it, it was something like that. It was over there. Maybe if we make our way over there, we can double check it out. If you want directions, oh! Golf, Uniform, mm -hmm. India, Delta, Echo, can help. Dive can help. There's a ton in Fort Milner. Guide, though. What does that mean? This guide can help. Oh, I see it. What does that have to do? Oh, she, well, Maggie brought her friend Anna here to help, I guess. Eh, what a cute picture. When people at the comms department began transferring off, I was able to convince my higher reps, including, coincidentally, one eventually eventual army passenger 
aboard the Kanaloa, Henry Griffin, to bring Anna aboard as a replacement. Anna had been working in broadcasting, so it made enough sense to the upper ranks. Uh, incidentally, when I dream, it is usually during this time period I miss the change, and I am trying to prevent Anna from ever coming. Oh, that's sad. Uh, hold on. Let's keep going the other way, and then see about going to the outpost. Is way out this way I need to go? Yeah, I don't think there's any further to go. Uh, I don't think there was anything up there either, so... Yeah, no, that was just a... Okay. Well, I kind of bombed out. So let's go back up this way. Oh, that was like a fast track. Okay, cool. Um, okay. I think that's it. So that that should cover Fort Milner. Yes, Army Rex, we were over there. Relay point. Because we were down here. So I think relay point, I feel like, in the campground is where we haven't been able to go yet. So let's go see about that. How about that? I don't know. At this point it's running long because things didn't work out in the neat little package routine or I was thinking. So it might be I'm just gonna cut myself off somewhere in the middle here or in the other one or whatever. This on and kind of the chapters together that way. Um, chapters I like is an idea of just kind of like breaking it up. Like I said, it gives you a bit of a break and it's more of a natural way for me to like do a cut when I need to like step away for a second. But that being said, what the friggity old one? I don't think I can go that way. Um, when things are kind of like <laughs> change and whatnot, I meant to like have the anomalies here and do this and this and whatever. Makes it a little weird, but. I might just cut it up and we'll stitch them together and see how it goes. Um, and then have the ending. Because I feel like at this point, cutting it um, and then starting again, it's like, oh, it would like hit me towards three, cutting this in half. And then but the ending, I don't think is that long. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe it'll be that and then just one video for the ending or something. Because I think there's different things we can do with that. We will see. Um. Okay, but I, Fort Milner, I thought I could go across the bridge and go to Relay Point. Did I go the wrong way? Is there not another way? Because that goes to Towie Woods. Can I go to the campground now? Hold on. Let's see if it'll let me... Hello? Alex, can you turn around? Let's see if it'll let me go to the campground. And we'll continue with that. Towie Woods. But I guess you'll know if I end up doing a fadeaway cut before now, and so none of this makes sense for me to talk about now, or if I end up doing a weird cut later. Um, let's see. Yeah. Because I want to get to the campground. Is there a way for me to go across there? Yeah, it is. Where's that? Oh. Which way is the, the thingy that transports you across? This is a bridge. Oh, I think this is the bridge. No? Where the hell am I? Why am I so lost? No, yeah, keep going this way. It's got an arrow telling me that I'm heading over to the other place. Okay, here we go. There we go. I was thinking of this little ledge being a dead end, but I forgot there's passage this way. Nice. Ah, uh, uh, all the rock climbing. Does it need me to turn it on again? Is that maybe what's going on? Is it off? What's happening? Mm, no, 
power is on. It won't let me click anything. Okay, I think as far as our new radio goes, and the fact that we can now find her letters, the only place we haven't been able to go is the campground. But maybe I have to take another way, because it's not letting me go. Oh, I can go now. Okay. I think I might- I need a quick break here anyway, so I'll just see how I stitch it together later. <laughs> we'll finish off trying to find the anomalies of the letters and then head towards the ending. See where that goes. Uh, okay.